The Bothrops barnetti is Peru's rarest and most difficult to find snake. Its powerful venom is capable of killing a person in just a few hours. If to this we add an extremely aggressive nature, the result is a potentially lethal species. Because it lives in the remotest parts of the equatorial dry forest, this species does not represent a significant danger for the population. For this reason, the organizations charged with making the specific antidote stopped producing it more than 30 years ago. The few accidents which have occurred since then have had fatal consequences. Successfully locating and capturing this formidable species has become a personal challenge for numerous herpetologists from all over the world. In addition to the Bothrops barnetti, in Peru there are at least a dozen snakes whose venom is capable of endangering the life of a human being. Organizing an expedition to search for poisonous snakes requires a great deal of information and months of physical and mental preparation, as well as highly specialized people. Juan Dims and Raúl Doblado are a team. For years, they have traveled the entire world in search of snakes. A prestigious publication has hired them. Their difficult mission will be to photograph a Bothrops Barnetti in its natural habitat. Their passion for poisonous snakes leads them to skip the time they had set aside for acclimatizing themselves to the country and immediately travel to the jungle to make contact with the most dangerous snakes. For the moment, the Bothrops Barnetti will have to wait. A three-hour walk separates them from an Ashaninka village known as Sardis. As they must carry their own equipment, this has been reduced to a minimum, just the bare essentials. The village they are heading for is made up of a handful of rather rudimentary huts. It was established 20 years ago by people from the Andes who emigrated from the great scrubland in search of more fertile land. The arrival of Juan and Raul is a special event celebrated with typical costumes and traditional dances. These will inevitably fall into disuse if future generations of Ashaninkas continue along the current path of westernization. Even though they are aware of the danger involved in meeting a poisonous snake face to face, they have opted not to bring antidotes, as these need to be kept refrigerated in order to guarantee their effectiveness. In the event of a bite, they should be administered by a specialized doctor. Their use is only recommended in cases of severe poisoning. Without the antidotes, and several days from the nearest hospital, a bite would have extremely grave consequences. This Ashaninka native, who so kindly shares her lunch, tells them how she has lost two of her six children to snakes. There are few families that have not lost a loved one or seen a family member terribly mutilated. One name echoes insistently amongst the natives of this remote region, Jergona. This is the local name for the fearsome Bothrops Atrox, the cause of numerous accidents among the population. 
Y bueno, yo estaba macheteando este maizal. Y uno de esos que yo estaba macheteando, me he metido la mano para recoger el maíz. Y entonces uno de esos sentí un incómodo. Se me, me di cuenta que, que la culebra estaba de nuevo enroscándose. Y era una jergona. Te pasa una electricidad prácticamente al cuerpo así. En ese momento me desesperé. Me, me vine al, al hospital de Chanaki. Y ahí también me han puesto antibióticos. Y no me pude controlar. Y a los 8, 9, 10 se empezaban a... Este, Anegrear en los dedos, prácticamente los tres dedos, anegrear, arrugarse como higos. Y me arde y viene el ardor así. Pues, se, se nota que viene así. Por el cuerpo ah, viene y arde, ya no, no puedo dormir. Los médicos decidieron este, operarme. Due above all to the fact that it is so common. The Bothrops atrox is without a doubt the snake which causes the greatest number of deaths in the entire Amazon basin. Its venom, an effective cocktail of proteins and enzymes, causes cellular lesions which give way to an edema so large that it prevents blood from circulating to the tissue. This leads to gangrene and the resulting amputation of the affected extremity. It also causes a savage, extremely harsh, simultaneous and often fatal attack on practically all of the organism's systems. Esto es lo que me ha dejado la serpiente. En esta parte de la muñeca me ha, me ha mordido, aquí. Y entonces se habían negreado los tres dedos. Era factible este, amputarlo los tres dedos y me han hecho un injerto. Aquí también me han cosido, entonces ya son dos meses que estoy así. Dos meses de la picadura de serpiente. Ah, por acá, vení por acá, sí, ve. Acá estaba, acá, con su rabo, por ahí. Estaba aquí. Ah, por ahí. De ahí, vení por así. A specimen of this snake has been seen in the area around Sardis, the Ashaninka village. Grande era, así. Un jergón. Ah, jergón. ¿De qué color? Ese es marrón. Ah, marrón y todo. Ah, por ahí se da ya. As Raúl and Juan well know, the snake can't be far away. This species trusts completely in its camouflage to allow it to go unnoticed, and it may be lying in wait in the undergrowth. If the elusive snake should appear, they will have to react almost instantly, trying to immobilize it by grabbing it by the back of the head. To do so, all they have are their bare hands and an improvised wooden stick they found along the path. After just a few minutes, the action starts. Juan has found the snake. The slightest slip would have fatal consequences. Raúl's swift action is decisive. Deprived of his stick and in a terribly dangerous situation, Juan has hold of the snake by the tail. At any moment, the snake could turn and strike. Thanks to the perfect mutual understanding between Juan and Raúl, the first part of the capture has gone without mishap. They still have to get the snake into the bag. Although apparently simple, this operation must be carried out with extreme caution. First of all, they need to check that the bag has no holes. A ver si podéis atar algo para tapar el agujero. The problem is solved, and this intense episode is brought to a successful conclusion. However, they're not able to enjoy this moment for long.